one more time, I'm going to use the pen tool and I'll create something that uh, maybe is the start of a leaf shape. Okay. And um, I'll fill it with some uh, light, very, very light green. Okay. And then once again, I'll uh, go over and I'll get the mesh tool. And you can see what I talked about before. It starts to, it tries to take on what it thinks is the, the, the dimensional shape of the image in whatever way that is. And um, I can come in here and uh, I can, uh, let me, uh, again, I'll add a, a vein down the middle of this um, leaf. Okay. So let's say there, and of course I'm not getting real sophisticated. I'll activate these anchor points and then you can see I add a very light little shade right down the middle there and again I can come in I can add some more mesh maybe to add some uh, darker shading in this area okay and um, I uh, assume that you can see here more or less how this works. I activate these anchor points and uh, I can um, add some, uh, some additional color. So um, it uh, works uh, in a pretty simple manner and it's quite beautiful and um, easy to do. One other point that I want to make is that you cannot add a stroke or a border onto a shape that has the gradient mesh because it's no longer one solid shape. It's now all of these separate little sections. So if you knew you wanted to put a um, outline on this shape before I added the mesh, I would have copied that layer or sublayer, and um, one of them, uh, the bottom one, I probably uh, would put the mesh on and the copy that's on top, I would have no fill but put the stroke. And to the mind's eye, it would look like it's one shape when in fact it's a duplicate of the shape. One has the stroke and the other has the mesh filling. And uh, you know, uh, what's amazing about it is that is all there is uh, to making this uh, this thing work and uh, you can manipulate it and work it um, uh, to your heart's content and uh, I just think it's an amazing um, tool to create such beautiful sophisticated things um, quickly and easily.